CustomTactiles.com here and today I'm looking at a Microtech Ultratech. This one is specifically the Ultratech Bayonet Contoured OD Green Standard according to the box. Um, but basically what that means is that it's olive drab green um, hard anodized aluminum handle here so it's kind of a green color. Um, I got a little bit of a shadow on my new setup here, so unfortunately it's not great. This one is a fairly recent model, um, September 2017, so under a year old production-wise. It's one of the newer batches of the Ultratex. Um, this one uh, features the bayonet style blade, which is essentially like a dagger. But not like the DE style dagger with the blood groove that you see. Um, um, I guess it looks like a bayonet blade is really what it looks like. Um, got a, it's double edged on like two thirds of the top there. So it's actually sharpened. And then it's a full blade on the bottom. This has the uh, two tone with the satin flats and the DLC coated uh, grind. Which is one of my, one of my more preferred uh, blade colors I like it because I like the I don't like the blacks on the flats because sometimes they rub on the on the uh, mechanism inside when it's retracting so we've got the black hardware black black switch black hardware and the black clip um, all right you see the groove on this this uh, the switch is a little different than they used to be um, Carbide ball and the little breaking tip there. See, so you see that? It's not focusing too well. You see that there? These are pretty compact knives. Um, they're let's compare it to a Trudon so you can see the size difference. As you can see, the the Ultratex significantly smaller. It's funny because I, I remember um, I was on the uh, Microtech website and I was noticing how on the Microtech website it says that the Ultratech is the flagship model of uh, OTFs from Microtech. I'm not sure what they mean by flagship, but I always thought of the Ultratech as being kind of their entry model, so <laughs> I'm not sure um, what, uh, what, what they mean by that. But uh, either way, it's, it's a beautiful knife. Mm -hmm. Fantastic machining, great, great action. Oh, feels great. It's, it's a good design. It's very slim. You know, I mean, the Ultratech is a great knife. It's um, it's probably like if you talk about having any sort of uh, sort of like a small compact EDC OTF. If there were such a thing for a gents carry, uh, gents carry. Um, OTF the the Ultratech would be it. So it's, it's very small, you can pop in your pocket. Um, it's even classy looking if if you want to say that just because it's so slim. It's just a little, just a contoured rectangle, you know. A little bit of contouring here, a little bit of curve there. You see, it's a bit of curve there. The old Ultratechs were completely uh, rectangular. Now they've got a little bit of a little bit of a bend in it, as you can see there. A little bend here, a little bend there, just to fit the contours of the hand a little bit better. It's kind of nice. Very straight knife though, so it's uh, it doesn't have like the it's, it's a, you know like like most OTFs, just a bit more of a rectangle, a bit more of a box. But uh, you know, it's a great knife. Been around for a long time. Remember, I probably bought my first. Uh, Ultratech like 20 years ago now it seems like um, hope, hope you guys like the review of this uh, Ultratech uh, bayonet